Hello again, everybody. It's Harry Boxer, the Technical Trader. It's Thursday, September the 9th. These are the charts of the day. Adobe, ADBE, had a big, big price volume surge, breakaway gap today, and ran up 355 or 12%. As you can see, the um, declining top line was broken with one big surge. It also took out lateral price resistance. And this kind of a surge on 38.4 million is usually significant. Uh, Wall Street closed it near the high end of the range for the day, and it uh, looks to me like we should get some follow through. There is some resistance above here around the 34 area, but my, my thought is that the short term trading target gets us up to 37, seven and a half up at the prior highs from um, last December and this March. ARMH continues as we've highlighted this stock many times in the last few weeks. Um, it's now gone from up about 50% in the last 60 days. Um, and nearly doubled in the last 90. Uh, the short-term pattern after this declining channel slowly broke out and slowly started to rise. That accelerated here, went into a four-day pennant, broke out yesterday, and then followed through today with even heavier volume of a little less than 10 million shares. But that's the heaviest volume going back to June. And uh, certainly looks like uh, more upside may be due, and I'm projecting uh, 21, 21 and a half on this one. China Newborn, very powerful looking pattern underway. Had that strong run up into mid August, pulled back, held a moving average and trend line, popped up to retest the highs, couldn't quite get through, backed off after maybe just a nominal new high, and formed a little wedge here. This wedge looks like it wants to break to the upside. And if that is the case, I'm looking for a target at 12 and 3 quarters, 13. So we've got networks looking very good here after breaking out of this coiling base pattern. The price volume surge breakaway gap here. We had a little bit of a rising channel, a little rising flag, I should say, and that actually accelerated to the upside today with a gain of 48 cents or 5.3 percent. Volume uh, was the heaviest in about seven sessions, so it looks like this one has had a clean breakout over resistance. And my next target is up around the 11 and a half range. Dragon Wave DRW. I'm showing you this one because of the interesting. Um, and shoulders type bottoming pattern here and the breakout occurred today up 50 cents on increasing volume let's see if we get a follow-through uh, if we do trading target up around the nine dollar range is next exact sciences exas had a significant breakout you see the march and june high was exploded through today with strong volume the heaviest volume in a couple months a clean breakout occurred that took this stock to multi-year highs Trading target up in this zone should be reached shortly. If it gets to that, I'm looking for a move to the top of the channel. Now that level is around six and a quarter. That should be reached in the next day or so. And then um, if the top of that channel is, re is, is doable, we could see the stock reach 10 and then 12. Green Mountain Coffee Roasters in a very nice rising channel here. Broke out yesterday, followed through today, but the overall pattern key is that this Lateral price resistance zone was taken out today, and let's see if we can follow through with a move through 35 and up towards 37 and a half. My next trading target, secondary target, 41. Craft Brewers continues to look outstanding in a nice, tight, rising channel, making nearly new highs every day. Um, yesterday it reached 8, today 797, so we got some minor resistance that's drawn in here. You'll see top of the channel and lateral price resistance in this zone, but if it does, it is able to get through. I'm looking for an extended move up to a nine and a half. Igate Corp, IGET, broke out of a big coiling base pattern over the last couple months. Yesterday it popped its head through it. Today it gapped and closed up at 83 cents or 5% on 940,000 shares. Decent volume with a thrust in technicals. And now looks like a move towards the top of the channel up around 20, which is our next trading target. Molly Corp is continues phenomenal acceleration and momentum. You'll see this angle of ascent was accelerated at the end of August, and as it continued, despite yesterday's mini reversal, the stock goes up again today at dollar twelve, five percent, and continues to look like it could spike up into the mid to high twenties. Medicines Company had a significant pop, and you'll notice in August it had that one big day, then it settled into a four-week tight coil. Today it popped again. That could be the advent of a new move. Resistance at 15 and then 16 and three quarters are short-term trading targets. 
make my trip limited, the, new, the recent IPO, which pop, popped after the IPO, then went into a coil pattern, broke out on significant uh, volume today and price action. It looks like it could be headed for 40. That's our next trading target on it. Radcom has been in a beautiful, accelerating, rising parabolic type move, but it's right near overhead resistance at the top of the channel and lateral price resistance, 13 and a half. That's our next trading target. It's possible it could blow through that and move into the mid to high teens, but we'll uh, have, to have to monitor it as we go. Radware, RDWR, had another good day today at 47 cents. Um, as you can see, another new high after breaking out about a week and a half ago as it began to accelerate a bit. as technical surge as well. The long-term rising channel top calls for a move that could take this stock into the mid-30s, even as high as 40. And those are your... Wait a second, let me just see something. Yes, I do have one other one I wanted to talk about. That's Vernitex uh, VHC, which after this multiple month coil broke out and flagged, and over the last four days has accelerated out of that mini flag to show nearly show gains every day on strong volume. Um, looks like we could accelerate this and get up towards the 14, 15 zone. That's our next trading target. And that's it for today. I won't speak to you until Monday. Have a good weekend.